The book I have chosen for your summer reads to recommend is One of Us is Lying by Karen McCann. It is suitable for all ages and has got many plot twists and is easily attached to the book. So this is The Great Gatsby. It's set in the 1920s in post-war America. It features this, well, this man called Gatsby who throws a party which goes horrifically wrong. Read the book. It's very short, but but it's very much worth it, and the movie's amazing, so great summer read. I recommend The Athenian Murders because it explores the themes of mythology, which I'm really interested in, and murder mysteries. It's a good mix of both genres, and is an interesting read. I recommend George Orwell's 1984 because I've always been wanting to read it, and I haven't got the chance to, so I'm going to use this summer to get to read it. Bookseller of Inverness by Shona McLean, as it is very close to home, whereas I went there as a kid, and I just recommend it as a great summer read for families. I recommend It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover, as it is very gripping and is about love and romance, and I think you could learn a lot from it, so I recommend it as your summer read. My pick for the summer reads is Mortal Engines by Philip Grove. It's set in futuristic times where whole cities have to fight each other for survival and resources. This is my summer read. It's Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. It's a very good book about romance and it's set in like olden times. It's about class and it's very good. Um, this is a murder mystery set in Cork and Ireland. Um, yeah, this is a great read, very thrilling. I'm recommending um, the Scott Pilgrim books because the series just came out on Netflix and it's a whole animated series so I thought if you're looking for a light summer read that's a graphic novel, um, Scott Pilgrim would just be a good idea because you could read the books and then watch the series on Netflix. I'd say it's more for older readers but obviously if you're younger just like be cautious, I'd probably watch the series first and see how you feel for the books so hope you enjoy. Um, this is American Psycho by Brad Easton Ellis. It's about a 27 year old investment broker from Wall Street and his name is Patrick Bateman and he's handsome and he's intelligent and he seems perfect on the outside but he's actually a sociopathic murderer. So if you're interested in weird stuff like that then 